Today I'm going to share with you how you can use the magic of layer comps to create different versions of the same document in such a way that you can pull up any version anytime and in any document. Let me first demonstrate and then we will learn how to do this. So this is a simple magazine cover template, right? Let's say we want to add a photo to it. All we need to do is to go to file and then place linked. Simply locate the document that you want to attach. In this case, I'm going to use man with camel and hit place. All right, pretty good. Now let's just go ahead and adjust it. So I'm going to make it a little larger and it's fine with me. Now here is the magic. Have a look at this. If we go to properties right here or if we simply go to window and then make sure properties is checked inside of that, have a look at this drop down. If I just click on this one, look at the layer comps available. If I choose original, this is going to show me the original image. Isn't that wonderful? If I just go ahead and choose the silhouette version, just click on that and it loads that and simply isolated version. This has a transparent background so I can choose any color I want or maybe I want to place a different sky or whatever I like, a different design, different texts. And we even have one more version, which is the black and white version. Isn't that amazing? So how did we create all of this? To be able to access the different versions, we need to create the versions using layer comps. Keep in mind that we inserted a document. We did not insert a JPEG image. So let's just go ahead and open that document and let me show you what exactly I had in that document. So here we are in our finder or explorer and I'm just going to open this PSD separately. Man with camel. As you can see, I have a lot, a ton of layers in here. Now, let me show you something interesting. If I go to window and then if I click on layer comps, look at the different versions here. Original, silhouette version, isolated version. Now, whenever we are selecting all of these versions, what's happening is some of the layers are being hidden and some are becoming visible. That's just it. And that's how you create these layer comps. So let me just go ahead and delete all of this. And let me take you through the entire document. All right. Okay. Now, here we have a lot of layers, a ton of layers, right? So at the very bottom, we have the original one. On top of that, we simply created a black and white adjustment layer, added some curves and added some vignetting and some grain. So this is the black and white version. So let's say now I want something with the background changed, a sunset version. So for that, I masked it out here, this layer, and put in a background. Now, since we put in a dark background, we needed to make this darker as well. So if we just turn this curves adjustment layer on, you have just made it absolutely dark. You can keep it a little light depending upon your taste. I'm just going to make it absolutely dark. So we have everything in here. So let's say I want an original version. So I'm going to turn everything off and just keep the original on. Now I'm going to go to windows and then layer comps. Now inside of layer comps, we will click on this plus button right there and just make sure everything is checked so that even the visibility position in case you change any of these properties, they will stay with the layer comp. So we are just going to name it original and hit OK. We are keeping it simple and only controlling the visibility. Hit OK. Now, let's say we want a black and white version. So let's turn on the layers, which will make this black and white. All right. Now, let's click on the plus button right there and let's name this black and white. Now, we can turn off all of these layers if you wish to. Now, so let's turn on the sunset sky and let's turn the masked one on we have to turn on the curves to make all of this dark. Let's click on plus again and let's name this silhouette. All right. Now we have that and we can create even one more version if we wish to. So we have the original black and white silhouette and isolated one with a transparent background because we might need it. So let's turn off the curves. Let's turn off the sunset sky. This is absolutely transparent and let's just name it probably transparent. Perfect. Now let's create one more additional version that we had not created before. So I'm just going to turn off everything and maybe at the top we will add a color lookup table. Click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose color lookup. Probably we will choose something like foggy night just to show you this. All right. 
Let's open up the layer comps by clicking on this button right there or simply going to window and then make sure layer comps is checked and then click on the plus and let's name this foggy night. All right, hit OK. Now let's go ahead and save it. File, save. All right, it's saved in the same location. It's just updated. Let's go back to this document. You will see it will update itself too. If I select man with camo in this document, since this is linked, if I open up the properties right here, and if I choose foggy night, it's going to show me the foggy night, which is already selected. The last saved version, transparent version. We have the black and white version. See all of this updated. This is the blank template again. I wanted to show you one more important thing. Keep in mind that this will work with any kind of smart object, not only linked. Even if you just embed it, this will work. So if you go to file and then place embedded and then choose man with camel and hit place. And if you adjust it, you will still have access to all of these properties. With that layer selected, if you just open up the properties, you still can change the layer comp. Also, even if you just drag it and drop it. So I'm going to go to my finder right there, man with camel. I'm just going to drag it and drop it right there. And even then, if you just go to the properties, you will have access to everything. So that's how you can use layer comps to create different versions of the same image. And whenever you insert the image, you can choose whatever version you like. I hope this video helped you. I will see you guys again in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.